I've never talked about this before, but in the preparation of the Tax Slayer course, the LLC, the parent company, the organizations, all this stuff, I've talked about the application, I've talked about the technicality, but I've never talked about my personal creed. I'm kind of hinted around at it, but I've never really gone into it. And this should help you understand why I'm putting these courses together, why I think the way that I do. First of all, I think that as an individual in society, you should be productive. You should be of service to your fellow man. You should be creative. You should do things for other people. And with that comes the creed of it should benefit you mostly. I have no problem paying taxes, but at some point, especially if you form a single member entity and you last year you would have been paying 35% plus 20%. So that's 55%. That's ridiculous. And things like that. So this is why I've delved into it because if I'm going to serve the world, if I'm going to put products out, I'm going to put services out, I'm going to benefit immensely. And that's the creed. It's something that happened to me in probably 1998, 1999, where I just developed this. It's got to benefit me because I was an extremely selfless person. I, you know, in some regards, I still am. But I really looked at the system totally differently. I looked at the system with a high level of disgust because it's designed to keep you where you are. And if you see people, because there was this uh, news report of this couple in Canada who had retired in their 30s and they never bought a house. And people are like, whoa, whoa, you got to buy a house. You have to buy a house. You, you must do this. And they figured out that if they put their money in the stock market, I think they had saved $500,000. And then I think they had a portfolio of a million and they withdrew 4%. So that's 40 grand. And that allows them to be retired as a couple. And I actually get the math and understand how it works. So many people are trying to do it the correct way, the sensible way, the middle class way, the standard way. And that is getting you screwed over. That's getting you messed over because that system doesn't work anymore for the average person. If I had remained at Northside Hospital working in the lab, I, I, I shudder because I stopped looking, but I looked the other day and it was like, wow, this is really bad. And I would have been taxed heavily. And part of being a creator, part of moving forward is when you are service to a lot of people, because I can say with no shame, and I'm very proud of this, that I've helped a few thousand people start businesses. That's an amazing accomplishment, and I hope to help tens of thousands more. The system is not designed for you to win. And if you play the game the way that the rules are told to you, that you must work hard, you must buy a house, you must invest, and you play the game that way, you could win ultimately if you don't get sick, you don't lose your job, conditions don't change your life. And we all know that conditions change in our lives. So if you were on that 40 or 50 year path of working and putting away your money and nothing bad ever happened, it could work out for you. But how many of you have not had an illness, a car accident, someone dying in the family, depression? There's so many things that comes with into that working 40, 50 years, putting money in the market that if you miss a few years or you get in a situation which is like one of my friends, he had well over $750,000 in stock in the market in his portfolio. He had one stroke, he had to dip into it, he had another stroke, and all of that money's gone. He is in fear of having his latest car repossessed. And he had $750,000 in the market, but conditions changed. Things happened, and now he doesn't have that money. So you've got to amp up and you've got to do things and create businesses and move forward in life because the future is not holding. The future is not guaranteed. 
So if you are loaded up with debt, that's bad. If you're in the situation where you can barely pay your bills, that's bad because the ultimate creed is this has to benefit me more than it's going to benefit anyone else. And in turn, then I am free to deliver even more service and to help more people out. The best way to get wealthy in the United States of America is to reduce your tax liability. One of the first rules of getting wealthy is to not lose money. Taxes is losing money. That's why the rich and the ultra rich and that top 0.3% know this game very well. This is the Donald Trumps of the world. He knows this game very well. Uh, the Warren Buffetts, the Michael Dells, they all know these games. Michael Dell just bought a hundred million dollar penthouse, a hundred million dollar penthouse in New York. He knows this game very well. And you can play this game at your level but fundamentally you have to improve where you are because if you want to play this game and you want to make 30, 40, 50 grand, good luck. It's not going to happen. But if you're making 30, 40, 50 grand with the expectation that you're going to make 150, 250, 300, 400, 500 thousand dollars many years down the road, okay, then you got a shot. But if you really think that you can win in this American system, playing the game that you were told as a child, as you were shown pictures and examples, because I know this is going to be very controversial, but this is one of the reasons that white men are freaking out. White men are shooting up schools. White men are committing suicide. White men are the number one, I believe, victim of the opioid crisis because the system has changed and it's not been a sudden change. This change has happened over many years, but the thing is, it just reached critical mass and now people are like it's here and they're freaking out and they don't know what to do. And that should tell you something because white men were on the number one rung of the ladder. They're not on the number one rung anymore. They're not even on the two. They're not even on three. They're not even on four. A lot of them are not even on the ladder. And that should tell you how much the system has changed and how much it's going to continue to change. And unless you put forward steps to get wealthier in these United States of America, you will be left behind. It's just that simple. So that's how I'm thinking. That's why I'm committing tax layer. That's why I'm sharing these things with you. And that's why if you want to play this game, you have to be making money. You cannot use tax layer and not be making any money. It's just not going to work. You don't have anything to you don't have any gains for you to create losses to offset your gains to reduce your tax liability. And a lot of you are trying to play this game like, you know, trying to skate on ice with no ice skates. It's not going to work. But, you know, just some insights on why I've created this, what's going on with me, the fundamental beliefs I have. And if you have these similar beliefs and if you want to be wealthy or wealthier or improve your lot in America, go below and sign up for Tax Slayer. It's going to save you way more than it's going to cost you. Way more. It's going to be somewhat nefarious. It's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a little wild, but I think you'll enjoy it.